What's up, hungry people? Today we're heading out of the kitchen and we're about to get wild in Jungle Gyms in Cincinnati, Ohio. Let's go! Nestled just outside of Cincinnati is a magical little slice of foodie heaven. Jungle Gyms International Market is one of those places that is absolutely worth the detour to visit. It is nearly impossible to describe the absolutely massive scale of this place. At over 500,000 square feet, and with a food selection representing more than 70 countries, Jungle Gyms is a literal foodie haven. Have an unusual recipe calling for an obscure ingredient? Jungle Gyms has it. Probably more than one option of it. When you walk into the store, you are instantly greeted with the soulless eyes of this gigantic can of Campbell's soup. The first time I went to Jungle Gyms, well over 10 years at this point, that same dead-eyed can of soup was swinging away over the generic grocery store food. Jungle Gyms is known for many things, but there's a specific reason that their bathrooms are award-winning. My fiance had to do a double take as two dudes walked out of the men's porter potty. But you'll just have to visit the store to find out what's really behind these doors. Beyond the bathrooms is a huge selection of beer, wine, liquor, and basically any kind of cigar you would ever want for any occasion. They have an absolutely massive selection of cheese, most of it in this 762 pound block of cheddar right here. If you're feeling nostalgic, there's a wide variety of limited edition candies from the past and present presented on bumper cars while a lion dressed as Elvis sings some show tunes in front of a giant gummy snake, which was there the last time I was at Jungle Gyms like three years ago. Yep, same one. If you're into collecting Pez dispensers, their selection is par none I have ever seen. Just beyond the candies is a giant cake bakery, both literally and figuratively. Not only is there a delicious abundance of baked goods, but there is even a section of the bakery dedicated to dogs too. If it's bizarre meats you're after, Jungle Jim's frozen meats carry everything from camel to venison. I was tempted to get some rabbit meat, but in the end I decided to grab some ostrich burgers instead. You can also basically get any kind of jerky imaginable, from gator to caribou. When you hit these weird bear things, you're only about a bit more than a quarter of the way through the market. Yes, it is really that big. The turn from a grocery store into a fruit stand farmer's market is one of my favorite transitions into what Jungle Gyms truly is, a magical, never-ending grocery store. You can find most common fruits and veggies in this area, with the weirder counterparts nearby, like these wrinkly mandarins. Located just above the fruit market is the Lucky Charms Band on top of the SS Minnow from Gilligan's Island. But it's what's located just below the cereal bowl band that draws the most attention. Bugs. Bugs are the future of protein. At least, that's what you would be led to believe after shopping at Jungle Gyms. Once you've pulled your attention away from the weird stuff, it just continues to get weirder, with fruits and veggies from every corner of the planet. I was super tempted to get this durian, but we didn't have any way to keep it cool during our trip. Maybe next time. Some of these fruits, I couldn't even begin to tell you what they actually are. It's like literally stepping out of the United States and into a foreign street market. Once you've meandered past the exotic fruits and vegetables, you'll find yourself on a deep sea adventure. Fresh fish that's locally farmed are put on display for you to literally pick out your own fish. Unusual fish from all over the world can be found on ice. I was particularly interested in this giant eel. What do you even cook with eel? Let me know what you would do with it down in the comment section because I am genuinely curious what can be done with eel. 
You can also find many kinds of eggs at Jungle Gyms, from ostrich eggs to duck and quail. But unfortunately, during our trip, they were out of the ostrich eggs, which is probably a good thing because they're like $70 and I would have been very tempted to get one. Beyond the seafood and chilled exotic goods begins the Asian Isles that have row upon row of Asian cuisine from every corner of the continent. Hot sauce enthusiasts can rejoice in the selection of hot sauces that can be found at Jungle Gyms. They even have an end cap dedicated specifically to the hot sauces that are featured on Hot Ones. All that's missing is a spicy Sean Evans. Are you a bacon lover? There's an end cap for that. Wanna make paella? You can get a giant paella pan. Collect kitchen gadgets? I guarantee they have it here. Oh, and remember how I was saying that they grow their own fish? Yep, you can find that in store as well. At this point, you might find yourself asking, what doesn't the store have? I bet it doesn't have any Robin Hood. Well, you'd be wrong, because here's Sherwood Force, complete with singing men in tights and its own hidden treasure trove with a creepy tree face. Just walking through Jungle Gyms is like taking a trip through several countries with authentic foods straight from each place, finding a home on a shelf here at this eccentric grocery store. One of my favorite parts of Jungle Gyms is the wall of markets on the far side, where each building is like a mini storefront for the country it represents. There's even a movie theater in the store, playing exactly one feature, the Jungle Gym story. By the time you reach this end of the store, you probably think you are close to being done. And you'd be wrong again, because there's still a ton to go. Our cart was beginning to fill up and our feet were beginning to tire, but we powered on to the next department, the pet food. Just kidding. While we did get some biscuits for our dogs, we decided to skip the pet section and head into the second candy section of the store where the more modern and custom candies can be found. There are also dozens of rows dedicated solely to soda, or pop as we call it here in Ohio. If you're trying to pursue a healthier lifestyle, directly across from the pop, you can find a wide variety of supplements and health food items. Continuing on, you can find the beekeeping section where honey and all forms and flavors can be found. At this point, you are finally reaching the finish line. And it's easy to tell because the temperature drops as you approach the frozen foods. This is also apparently where the old store props go to die. Then last but not least is the as seen on TV section where you can find everything from a squatty potty to a snuggie. In the end, it's impossible to show everything that Jungle Gems has. On average, it takes about three hours to go through the entire store, and longer if you are filming and also exploring while shopping. It's quite honestly one of the best places to get lost in if you are a lover of food but can't afford to travel abroad. Just drive down to Cincinnati and you can get a taste of the world. If you want to see everything that we bought on our trip, stay tuned for my next Jungle Gyms haul video where I'll go through everything that we bought and give a few strange items a taste test. Where should I visit next? I need some new places to explore. Let me know down in the comments below. As always, if you want to help support my channel, consider picking up some Starving Chef merch. When you buy a t-shirt, you are helping to cover ingredient costs, camera upgrades, and more. Every little bit of your support helps a small creator achieve their dreams. Don't forget to flip that sub button and ring the dinner bell to be notified of my recipes and foodie adventures that I post every week. If you're still hungry, head on over to thestarvingchefblog.com where you can find every one of my recipes with step-by-step -step instructions. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon.